Hey guys, I hope you had a happy holidays, but that's all over. So let's move along. The only thing that we need to talk about left from the holidays is my promise to you that I would make a an episode about tin can microphone. Um, and going along with the theme of tin can microphones, you hear that music? Do rag. Do you know who was in do rag? Can you tell me who was in do rag? Um, you hear that? You hear that? John Henry, whatever else he said, I don't know. Okay, before we carry on, I always do the housekeeping at the beginning so, because by the end I'll forget. Subscribe in the middle, my playlists are there. But you know what? I'm getting a lot of subscribers lately to the point where YouTube is starting to treat me like a, I'm somebody, like a person. Uh, I feel honored. Anyway, what I've noticed is some of the hipster YouTubers throw in a customer service announcement. What do they call it? Public service announcement. So let's do a public service announcement. My public service announcement is going to be about mental health. Okay, first clue. If I'm giving you mental health advice, there's probably a problem, okay? But I'm going to call out a problem that I see in our group. And I receive complaints from, or more, you should be concerned with a phenomena. And those concerns came from the Association of Spouses of People Who Build Cigar Box Guitars. And to sum up their concern was, if you find yourself looking at your Christmas presents, not for what they are, but for what kind of guitar they might make, you have a problem. All right, that concludes this public service announcement. Check that box. Let's get to the workbench. Okay, guys, you recall that I said for Christmas, somebody got me this. Well, you know, at my age, who's going to get me this? I got me this, right? Now, I didn't pay a whole lot for this. Um, and it was on sale. Of course, everything's on sale at Christmas. I ordered it. It showed up. Uh, didn't take too long. I think it was drop shipped from the manufacturer. But when you open it up, everything's in this can. Except this sticker that goes on top to make it look like it's got a metal grill and, and all that. Like a, a microphone. Anyway, when I opened it up, a couple things here. I've got... A couple of these foam balls, sponge, I think they come out of a clown nose yard sale or something like that. But I guess that's to muffle the sound. And then this here, which is a jack and a small piezo. And that was the extent of it. Now, everything is soldered already. So I think the idea here was is that you basically take a bit to make a pilot hole, a bit that you would use to put in the jack, you drill a hole here, you hot glue gun this to the lid somewhere here off to the side, they suggested going off to the side, and then you plug it in and it's good to go. So, got my do rag back on, let's just throw this together quick and see what it'll do. Um, first thing I want to do is make sure that my hole is far enough up, up off the bottom where it doesn't conflict or anything. So I'm going to put a little mark right there. Okay, there's my pilot hole. All right, there's a hole big enough for the jack. I'm going to take some and knock this down on the inside. I swear this mini belt sander is one of the best tools I ever bought. Now this is one of the things you don't want to paint yourself into a corner. I was going to put this in here first, but then I figured, you know what? I'll put this on here. That way I can get this stabilized without having this on the other end of a leaf. So I'm going to take my glue gun here and just put this off to the side like they recommended. Get a couple spots here. Let that dry a little bit, and I'm going to coat the whole thing. 
Right, that dried enough. Now I'm just going to coat the whole thing. You've seen this before. This is what you do on a cigar box guitar with a piezo. It's exactly the same, except this doesn't have a volume control. I want to get that connection where the wire comes off there good so it doesn't pull off. Anyway, there we go. All right. Now I just put that on there. I think y'all have been through this before. Tighten that up like so. The last thing I'm going to do, and I always do this, is I'm going to put a tad of Loctite on it right there. That way, this doesn't come undone later. You find yourself going, what do I do? Want to make sure that the wires in there are pointed the right way. So we don't foul it up. And then we'll tighten that up like so. Get all that off there. Like I said, we want to make sure that the jack is going to come in there without fouling up the wires. So make sure the wires are pointed the right way. And then we just take a wrench and tighten that up a little bit. This is pretty thin stuff, so we don't want to crank on it so much it runs through itself. There we go. Now we're just going to put these balls in here. Is this supposed to stifle it down or something? We'll see. And then I just put this on here like this. Set them wires down in there. And there we go. Now the last thing we're going to do, they put four little screws in here. Like you would, size you would put tuners on or something with. And we're going to go around, because this will want to pop off. We're going to go around and drill holes with this little bit here. Same, same size bit you would use to put tuners or box corners on. And we're going to put these screws in to hold this shut. We'll plug it in and try it out. All right, there we go. Whole thing's done. Put the sticker on there if I want, but time to go get a pickup and uh, an amp and let's see what this thing does. All right, guys, I got my rolling micro cube. Um, I got a cable plugged into it. Now, if I turn this on right here, it's too close. It's going to squeal. You know how piezos do. There we go. Isn't that lovely? So let's get this out of the way and see what this will do. Hey, 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 shake them on down here. Oh, hey. Yeah. That's it, ain't it? Yeah. You might be asking yourself what's the big deal here. I've seen this before. You sure have. Remember this episode? Stomp box. Same thing. Piezo pickup, uh, a jack, uh, the only difference here is this one has a volume control. I'm going to give you a link to that, but you know what? This kit was worth it because I got to see the parts and I got to show you what's inside. So I got an idea. Let's make one ourselves out of a can we have. And parts that we have laying around and see how that works out okay guys let's start off with the parts list Tammy's having fun over there with that can tapping on it and humming into it so it's a hit with her but you know I showed you this can I got for Christmas from one of my friends that's good could be using this chief Oshkosh can that was in grandpa Jake's garage for years before I salvaged it when I was about 14 go around there's a bunch of old cans uh, but the problem you've got is how do you put a lid on this well pretty easy really first thing you want to do is cut this out so you can access the inside and then well look at this our small canning lid you know that these come in wide mouth and regular size and if you look at this this fits right on the top there like so and then this fits up here so on the kit we put some holes here i'm going to put those holes in too but i'm going to put these nuts 
and bolts on the inside and I'm going to epoxy these in place. Uh, but other than that, everything goes together about the same. Only difference is cost. I got different size piezos. These are 27 millimeters. These are the smaller ones just like we had in the kit there. I got all these to the door for 12 bucks. So I'm going to put a volume control on it so I don't have to run back and forth to the amplifier to adjust things. I can turn this up and down. Um, I want to give somebody a shout out. You know, I've gotten a few of these in bulk and they're missing these knots and I made an order from MGB and they always throw stuff in and I got a whole bag of this. I didn't even know it was there and I started looking around the order. You don't know how many times, Michael, you saved my day. You are a great businessman and you know customer service and that's why you get my business. So give MGB uh, guitar parts a look, guys. Oh yeah, I went down to Ace Hardware. That that uh, sponge that is used to dampen. I got this sponge for about $1.50. So one more time, we got the sponge. We got a can of our choice. We got our pilot bit. We got our big bit. We've got a volume control. We've got a jack. We've got our canning lids. We've got a little JB weld for this. Um, and our plethora of piezos. Let me throw one together quick. Okay, because this is ridged because of the threads, I'm going to use this all and I'm just going to push down a little bit right there so I can get my start for my drill bit to drill the pilot hole. Went through the canning lid into the can. Now I'm going to use a bigger bit that will match this knot because a screw is going to strip out. So the idea here is I'm going to drill this hole big enough and then I'm going to epoxy this knot on the inside one there and one there and I won't have to worry about the lid staying in place because the screw strips out or comes undone. So I'll put this bigger bit in like this and just run a hole there and there. Now I always like using this this ribbing here because it's uh, whether I'm building a coffee can guitar or one of these because uh, it's a lot thicker and it gives you a good structure right here to drill a hole. So let's not forget to take a little file and knock down the edges where we drilled through right there. Now I got some epoxy put out here, equal parts. Don't forget your bacon flavored toothpicks, a must have. Mix this up a little bit, like so, until it turns gray. Okay, a little close up here. Got the lock washer. Put this through the hole. Notice that's tight where it about screws in by itself. But I'm going to put that knot on the back end. I'm going to screw this in all the way like so. Where it gets that nut in place. And then, got them one on each side. Make sure they're tight. One there, one there. And then I'm going to take a little bit of epoxy, like so, and put it right there. I don't want to get it on the threads. I just want to get it on that nut. Where it... goes around the edge of the can. We'll let that dry, clean it up a little bit, and then that knot will stay there. We can take the bolts out, and that knot will be fine in there. There, while I'm waiting for that epoxy uh, to dry, I put the corresponding holes in the, in the lid there. This is what will hold everything on like so now just like with the kit I'm going to take the piezo the same side I'm going to put it just off to the side of the center of the canning lid 
and I'm going to give it a shot of glue like so. I'm going to let that sit and get firm before I coat the whole thing. Of course, I just want to get them leads right there. The piezo is going to cut loose. It's going to be right there, and that's what we don't want. Okay, let's burn my finger good. This don't have to be pretty. All right, now for a slight modification. We're going to put a volume control. So we took off these nuts. That little nub that sticks out right there. I'm going to bend that over bend it off I don't need it and you see this little gadget I made it's got all kinds of holes in it so when I want to solder something I can just set that there like this I can set this up now I'm going to solder this up I've got an episode on how to wire a piezo I'll give you a link to that but what we're going to do is we're going to put this stuff together just like we put a jack uh, with a piezo and a volume control on one of our cigar boxes. So I'll solder that up now. Now I don't know if I ever told you this or not, but I'm a firm believer in using shrink wrap wherever my hot wires come together so they don't ever touch. And once I put this together, I don't ever have to worry about it again. All right. A little bit of flame underneath there. People are telling me I need to get a heat gun. I guess I should. All right. There's that one. And here's one we just put together. Oh, it doesn't work. It's because I got the volume down. Works fine. I like that. Now... Let's put it into the can. By now that epoxy's hardened up. Those nuts stay where they're supposed to be. And everything will work out fine. Okay, we put a pilot hole for the volume control, which I'll put there. And a pilot hole for the jack. Okay, there we go. Now... There's going to be a little trick here because it's hard to get your hands down in here. So I'm going to take a piece of this wire. I'm going to bend it just a little bit and run it up through here. And then take the jack and put it around there like that. And that's going to help me fish this through that hole. All right. There we go. There I can't swear by this Loctite double nutting things because a little investment in time right now and you'll never have to worry about that again. Same thing here on the volume control. Double nut it. Tighten up everything. Put my tad bit of Loctite there. And finally, I got a lot going on on this side, so I'm just going to measure up the sponge like so and take a scissors and, and cut the piece I need. And then I can put it in here as necessary to tone this down and squeeze. That works just as well as the balls in the other kit. There we go. Now, all I got to do is put this on here like so. I'm going to make sure that that epoxy hardened up there and I can just pull these nuts out here line these up and I'm good to go all right there it is looks pretty clean got a volume control got the jack at the top I think it looks pretty cool let's see what it sounds like John Henry died boy. yeah you know what? I don't know about you, but I think my uh, homemade model, the Cactus Cooler Can, definitely wins the Do Red Distortion Award. But I think we're going to have to have it tried out by a professional band and let them decide. You hear that? That's some. 
Sid Hemphill, Devil's Dream. So we're going to do a cover of that with our uh, tin can kit microphone and our homemade one. Ready? Yep. Hit it. You can't read, you can't write your name. <laughs>